Today we're gonna be getting a get to know me tag for all of my subscribers. I appreciate all the ones I have and I appreciate all the ones that are coming my way. I'm speaking it into existence. So for this get to know me tag, I got these questions from my friends. I asked them to ask me questions. I got the questions from Instagram. I asked, like I did a poll on Instagram. And then I also just got the questions from the internet just so it could be juicy and spicy. So, um, this is just gonna be like a fun video so we're gonna start out the video by saying who am i my name is eliza net you can call me eliza and um my friends call me liza call me whatever you want to call me you want to call me eliza you can call me eliza or you can call me friend whatever you want to call me so i'm gonna start off with all of the basic questions first and then i'll get into the other questions after so just to start off it says uh, what year were you born Baby, this question like is deep for some reason. I'm 25 this year, y'all. And I just feel like, do you remember when you were a little kid and you were just like begging to pay bills and begging to be grown? Why the fuck? I'm 25. <laughs> this year I was born in 1997. I'm 25 this year. And it hits me right in the chest, girl. It hit me right in the chest. But anyways, 1997, I'm a 90s baby. Um, and the next question is, how tall are you? I'm also a tall girl. I'm five, eight and a half. Um, it's one of my most prominent qualities. People always notice me because I am a giraffe. Um, no, but seriously, um, model type um so okay so now we're gonna get into more questions that aren't so introductory um it says who are your favorite actors i don't have any new favorite actors i'm still a angela bassett taraji p henson denzel washington type of girl myself but i will say i do like Issa Rae, i do like lupita nyong'o and i do like lakeith stanfield and i am excited for all the new and up and coming uh actors that we're gonna be getting also i love angelina jolie shout out to her that's my baby so those are some of my favorite actors and actresses um all right it says what what is the funniest memory you have from childhood now this is like hand in hand with my height question so obviously when you're a tall girl everybody's like why don't you play sports why don't you play basketball baby i don't know how to play sports or basketball so and when i was in high school i was like trying to play basketball one day and obviously you have two teams you have two nets two hoops right and you're supposed to play for your team but like I they never gave me the full instructions of the game. They just said play. So I'm like, okay, like I seen somebody dribble. I'm a dribble. So I grabbed the ball, I'm dribbling, boom. Eliza, what are you doing? You da -da -da. Basically, I dunked in the other team's hoop and I made a point for them. That was one of the funniest moments from high school. That was one of those moments everybody remembers. That was one of those moments that used to be embarrassing. But at this point in my life, I'm like, I never said I was LeBron. Give me direction. So that was that. <laughs> um, a next question I have is, what is your favorite holiday? Now, don't get me wrong. Like, age is like, because like 25 out of nowhere, where did the years go? But at the same time, my favorite holiday is my birthday. My favorite holiday is my birthday because we work hard, we study, we chase our goals, we chase our dreams, we entertain people, we, we you know, try to make others happy. We need time to focus on ourselves. So my birthday is the favorite holiday I have. This year, I took a solo trip to Houston. The year before last, um, I don't remember what I did, but I, I know one year I did like a spa day. It was like a full spa day. I got a neck massage, a scalp massage. I got my nails done, feet done, hair did, all that kind of stuff. And I just pampered myself. Um, but moving forward, I really want to focus more of my energy into my birthdays. And I think it's going to be a lot of solo trips because my cousin's birthday is the same month as me. My best friend's birthday is the same month as me. So it makes it really difficult because I, I used to just tag along with other people. But I think this year it's like, no, it's important for you to have a moment for yourself to acknowledge yourself and all of the things that you're doing. So 
favorite holiday is my birthday and from today moving forward we going all in okay so um what's your favorite restaurant short and sweet bossa nova i will get the steak beans and rice and plantains every time and it's good um what is an interesting fact about you my dad was born in 1934 in natchez mississippi somebody doing calculations somebody doing some math my dad passed away god rest his soul um he's one of my favorite people in the world and i love him so much but yeah he was born in 1934 he had me when he was 63 so yeah um what is the first thing you notice about people the first thing i noticed about people this might be a weird answer and i looked over the question but i don't really feel like i noticed like a feature about them and even though obviously you look at somebody before you speak to them I would still say I like the first thing I noticed about a person is their voice. Like, like I look at a person, I scan their body. I don't know what body part like I pay attention to, or I don't know if it's their outfit or their face. But when I hear their voice, that's what like moves me. That's what I gravitate to. Like voices, like the sound of somebody's voice. So, um, most memorable childhood memory. Okay, I want to be like, this is childish. This is childish. I don't know if I should leave this question for like the end of the video. This is childish. I'll make it short and quick. <laughs> so it's like an inside joke with me and my like first cousin. So basically when we were growing up, my grandma would have a study during like our summer break. So we were like all sitting in a row in chairs, right? We're all sitting in this row in chairs and we're reading books and she like comes in the room and she's like checking to see if we're still reading, right? And as she's like walking out of the room, like my cousin farts <laughs> and it's like, come on, childish, 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 childish. But like everybody like turned and looked at him and it was like, why did it sound like that? And it was like childish. I'm not gonna say too much, it was childish. But basically, like, it's an inside joke amongst my first cousins. Like, if anybody says, come along, we're just like, come along. But, okay, I'm going to leave it there. Um, Do you have any pets? I don't have any pets right now. I don't have time for pets. I really want a cat. But I, the only thing that's stopping me from getting a cat is that I really want a dog. And I don't know if I want a dog and a cat together. I just want a dog. And right now, I want a pet just because, like, like an emotional companion. But... Overall, I want a dog, and my dog's name is going to be Henrietta. Don't steal my dog name. Um, Do you prefer city or country? Oh, I'm a city girl. Period. Real last bitch, give a fuck. I don't, I'm a city girl, but I'm not a city girl. When I say I'm a city girl, I mean I'm from the city. Like, I'm from California. I grew up in like Northern California, Sacramento Bay Area, little town called Stockton. Um, I grew up on that side of town and then I moved to Southern California for college. So like I was living in Long Beach, going to school in Orange County and obviously like you have LA. So I'm like city, like I'm very much like tired. Now I live in the DMV. I'm very much so tired of the city. Like, I really want to live on, like, the outskirts in a, like, you know, like a little little country house with a white picket fence. Like, I'm, I, I, I'm like, naturally, city is just, like, something I've always had. But I, I want to live in, like, a small town. Like, that's my, like, retirement goal. Um, okay, I think I might have went over everything. What is your best trait? I would say, I said that I'm open-minding, I'm understanding, and I'm empathetic. So those are my top three traits. Empathy, sometimes it's like transfers into anxiety for me because I'm like, if I do something wrong, like I, I'm so empathetic about like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. But also like, it like eats away at me and I think, overthink it. So that's like one of my best traits. Like empathy is a good trait. Everybody doesn't have empathy, but to a certain extent. Okay, um, I had a question on here. What is your spirit animal? I really don't know the answer to that question. I wrote it down because somebody asked me. Um, but at, at some point in my life, I thought it was a cat, but I wouldn't want to be in the house for the rest of my life. Even though, even though if you go to California, cats have leashes these days. 
Like they got the cat on a leash. Um, at my last apartment before I moved here, my neighbors were walking their cat on a leash. So I don't want to walk my cat on a leash. I'd rather have a dog. But anyways, it used to be a cat. I wouldn't want to be in the house all day. It used to be a bird. Could call. I don't know. I just don't, I don't know if I want to cook up. So right now I feel like my spirit animal is a squirrel. Um, because I go through a neighborhood and I go for a walk through this neighborhood and it's a beautiful neighborhood and there are like squirrels everywhere and they just mind their own business and they get their little nut and they're free and they go up into the tree and they do their thing. They don't bother nobody. Nobody bothers them. So yeah, I think my spirit animal is a squirrel. So, all right, the next question. In a perfect world, where would you be? I think that's a really great question to end on. So I'm gonna end on that question. In a perfect world, where would you be? I always said I would retire in Canada, but to be basic and simple, in a perfect world, I don't want a mansion, but I want like a country home, like maybe three to four bedrooms. I want two kids, a boy and a girl. Um, and I want a husband who's fine. I want us all to have a close relationship with God. I want my kids to go grow up to be smart and strong and beautiful and kind and happy. I want everybody on my in my current family right now, the one that I haven't created yet, to also be happy, peaceful, and successful. And in a in a perfect world, I would want to be an attorney and have a big YouTube channel and a cooking page. Follow my Pinterest. I'll be posting cooking videos on there. Um, so that would be me in a perfect world. Now, the Pinterest cooking channel, I've always thought about should I do it, should I not? Because I'm also really into like fitness and working out. And I was like, but the food I eat, like I do like five days of healthy and then on the weekends I splurge. So but yeah, follow that channel. That's what I would do in a perfect world. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you leave a comment, no pressure. But if you do, give me some tips and some videos you would like to see. That would really, really be helpful um, because I'm always trying to figure out what else I should do, um, even though I'm just starting out. But yeah, give me some tips on what kind of videos you would like to see. This is a lifestyle beauty vlog channel. I'm going to be doing a story time video. I'm going to be doing a hygienic video. I'm going to do a lot of makeup videos. I'm going to do a lot of vlogs. I'm going to do a lot of stuff like that. If that interests you, like the video. If you have any suggestions, comment down below. And as always, enjoy your day. Bye.